Well, everyone said to me, what are you doing coming out and filming on a day like today? But I thought it'd be quite good to see what sort of work goes on in these sorts of grey and drizzly weather conditions. So I came out with my camera. Hi, it's Richard Snashel here, and I have this update from the Enlarged Cotterdam Siteworks. This is work going on in July 2010. We're looking here over towards the left-hand side abutment, and the left-hand side abutment, of course, is the wall on the left-hand side as you're looking downstream from the Cotter River and from the old Cotter Dam. This work is all permanent works that's been done in preparation for the construction of the new wall. As you can see, these guys are working in really quite steep conditions, uh, especially when it's wet. Uh, visibility can be a little bit limited at times. Uh, the ground can be a bit slippery underfoot. But there is an incredible um, attitude to safety on the enlarged Cotter Dam site, which is uh, which is demonstrated by all the all of the bulk water alliance, the different organisations. Now we're panning around here to the left, looking to the right-hand side abutment. Of course, there's the uh, the old Cotter Dam wall. A little bit of water running over there, and you'll see in this next shot the valve is open. So that means there's been quite a bit of rainfall further upstream in the Cotter catchment. We just hope that rainfall continues, of course. Here's one of the guys working on the right-hand side abutment. One of the contractors there. You can see how wet it is there. Pretty slippery for the guys on this side. Now the work on this side is more temporary work. Um, Stabilising, there's an excavator there digging, and you can see little, the little access road that's been put in so the uh, excavator can get in there. And there is quite a bit of, uh, it's quite a difficult, on, it's quite difficult conditions on this right-hand side abutment. So there has to be quite a lot of stabilisation works done. You can see that shot creep, that concrete which is there in the wall. And you can see those little little metal things, those little metal squares there. I'll talk about those in a moment. It's Jaden and Gary there, we've panned back around and have another look at the left hand side abutment. Now those little square things in the wall there, and they've got little bits of metal, what look like metal spikes poking out. There we go, a bit of a close up there. They're rock anchors. And those are put in, those rock anchors are actually drilled in, and that's what this machine here is doing. The rock anchors are drilled in to help reinforce the abutment walls. And then of course the shock creating, concreting is done around those, those rock anchors. They actually can go in as far as 12 meters. And the geologists uh, working on the project the geotechs or geologists, they determine how many rock anchors are needed and exactly where they need to go. This is Saddle Dam number two, which is one of the two auxiliary dams, which of course will fill up after the enlarged Cotter Dam is full. And they're preparing there to do a bit more grouting of the core of Saddle Dam number two. Are these from the quarry? This stone material has actually been imported onto site. Most of the rock on site, I should point out, comes from the quarry, which is on the enlarged Cotter Dam site. But this material is going to be used for filtration. It's a special type of stone, which will be put into the saddle dams. Now this is the primary crusher. This rock material all comes from the enlarged Cotter Dam site, comes up to the primary crusher and then goes up that conveyor and into that stockpile, which is called a, a surge pile. And then that material goes into the secondary crusher, which is inside the green building there and then it comes out crushed to specified sizes at the other end so it can be used for different applications around the site. Now we're looking at saddle dam number one and that yellow machine there is drilling down into the core of saddle dam number one and making holes um, and then grout will be poured into those holes once all that drilling is done. And we pull back and have a bit more of a look there at saddle dam number one. See all the little bugs flying in front of the camera there. Now you can see the weather is really beginning to come in there. Having a bit of a look at the stockpile, but you can hardly see anything else in the distance. Visibility is low. There's looking down to the quarry. I'm looking here from Kel's Secret Lookout, but unfortunately Kel's Secret Lookout didn't uh, give me many good views there, and the weather's really coming in, so I had to call it a day about there. 
So we look forward to seeing you in August for another update of the works at the Enlarged Cotter Dam. <laughs>